CataractCoach.com. The bold out nucleus. You know, I tried to divide the nucleus, but it was too soft and gummy. Now it's bold out. Now what? You know, we've all been in this situation. So I want to show you this video of a case where I struggled a little bit and I ended up with a bold out nucleus. Now, a lot of newer surgeons, when you're starting off, you end up with this situation, the bold out nucleus. Well, how do you finish the case? How can you be successful in this bold out nucleus case? So let's look at our surgery here. Got the rexus going, looking good. This is not the issue. Now be careful, if you have a tiny baby rexus and you get a bold out nucleus, it's much tougher. Luckily, it's a reasonable rexus, but look what happens. You got a lot of iris prolapse. Why is that? And why is the anterior chamber so shallow? And the answer is this patient's a very tiny eye, hyperopic. We're going to put in a 29 diopter IOL. So there's our nucleus. We've got it rotated. And the shallow anterior chamber, phaco probe going inside the eye. And what are we going to do? I'll try to chop it. So let's see what happens. We buzz into it, try to chop it, and kind of chop, but not really. I just can't get it to chop. And because the anterior chamber is so shallow in this tiny hyperopic eye, I can't only really bring the nucleus out of the bag. So I'm kind of trying to divide it within the capsule bag. I got some sort of chops going. I try a horizontal chop. Not entirely what we're wanting here. So I'll try again and again. And now look what we're left with. The nucleus is kind of bowled out. This nucleus was relatively soft. It was kind of gummy. We're bowled out here. Now what do you do? There are a couple options. One, make sure you're still trying to grab the periphery here of the lens nucleus. But you want to do it in areas that are not too thinned out. So notice how I keep rotating that nucleus to try to find areas that are a little thicker. Once we get to one of those thicker areas, I want to use just the vacuum to hold on to it and bring it up. So I can lift the chopper, use the chopper, lift the iris up, see that edge of the nuclear piece there, bring it towards me. I just need to get around the equator once. There it is. And now I can get the chopper behind that, hold it in place, and I can emulsify it. What's another option? You could do additional hydro dissection or visco dissection. But either way, you want to get this bold out nucleus partially up away from the capsule and into the iris plane like that. Now we can emulsify it and everything looks pretty good. We'll take it. Whew. Now cortex removal is also going to be challenging in this patient because remember, this is a tiny eye. Shallow anterior chamber, very small white to white and very short axial length. So we've cleaned up the cortex, looks pretty good. And again, the IOL here is a 29 diopter IOL. So we know it's a very small or hyperopic eye. The 29 diopter IOL has been calculated to give the patient about a plus 0.25 refraction in the post-op period. So there's the IOL. Look how big the six millimeter optic looks in this tiny eye. So we'll try to uh, get that lens haptics opened up and get that lens centered. And you can see that's a big looking IOL because it's a tiny eye. Let's lift up the iris with the chopper just to make sure the IOL is in the capsule bag 360 and there's no retained lens material looking good. IA probe going in here. We're still going to go behind the lens to remove viscoelastic. We'll finish up this case. So now next time you have a patient where it's a relatively soft or gummy nucleus and you can't quite chop it, you can't crack it, your divide and conquer doesn't really work, and you're stuck with a bold out nucleus, well, this is the approach. You can use the vacuum from your phaco probe, pull it away from the capsule bag, get part of the lens equator up, or do visco dissection or additional hydro dissection, but be careful not to nail the bag. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website, the best stuff. You can search for any kind of category you want. Click on the link there. You can submit your video or sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you a beautiful case like this to your inbox every day. And it's free.